Title, Ecclesiastical Powerhouse, Archbishop Michael Sheehan of Santa Fe, checks out at 83. T.L., D.R., farewell to a holy heavyweight. Former Archbishop Michael Sheehan, the spiritual head honcho of Santa Fe from 93 to 15, has waved his last holy water at 83. Deeds to follow. In a world where distinguished spiritual leader has almost become an oxymoron, Archbishop Michael Sheehan stands as an exception. This man didn't just occupy a lofty office, he infused his post with a divine charisma that made Santa Fe an epicenter of spiritual energy from 1993 to 2015. So, with heavy hearts, we report his departure from this world at the ripe age of 83. Sheehan's tenure is one for the history books, no doubt about it. His influence flowed like the Rio Grande, touching every corner of the Santa Fe Archdiocese and beyond. But with power comes responsibility, and questions inevitably rise, how did he handle the colossal task? Did he execute his duties with grace, or buckle under the weight? The Archdiocese of Santa Fe broke the news of his passing, and the waves of emotion could be felt echoing throughout the religious community. A spiritual stalwart, a beacon of faith, a guiding light, Sheehan was more than just an archbishop. He was a symbol, a man who represented hope and faith for thousands during his 22-year reign. But let's get real here. How will the spiritual landscape of Santa Fe evolve now? With Sheehan's departure, the future of the Archdiocese hangs in the balance. Is this the end of an era, or the beginning of a new one? Yet, amid the grief and speculation, it's worth remembering that Archbishop Sheehan was more than a symbolic figure. He was a human, with all the triumphs and trials that come with the territory. We wonder, did he ever feel the pressure of his position? Did he ever second-guess his decisions, or was he a steadfast servant of his faith till the end? His legacy is one of service and dedication, a testament to a life well lived. He leaves behind an immense spiritual vacuum that will no doubt be felt in the days and years to come. But as we say goodbye to this spiritual titan, we also welcome the inevitable change that follows. Sheehan's journey from this world raises some intriguing questions about the nature of spiritual leadership. As we reflect on his life and legacy, we must also ponder on the impact of his absence. What will the Archdiocese of Santa Fe look like without him? And, ultimately, is the death of a spiritual leader like Archbishop Sheehan the end, or could it be a divine opportunity for a new beginning? And here's the million-dollar question for all of you out there, who do you think could fill Sheehan's ecclesiastical shoes? And how will they navigate the new era of spiritual leadership? Let's get this convo rolling. Disclaimer, this article is purely informational and is not providing legal or investment advice.